Hello, I'm Greg Peffer, and I'm the field agronomist with Pioneer in Southeast Missouri. Today I'm going to talk to you about wind and hail damage in corn. We have a field here that was hit about three days ago with a very damaging wind and hail storm. And so we're going to go through some of the steps in which I look for and go through whenever I go to a field to assess just how much damage that a field has incurred during that storm. So one of the first things that I take a look at is how much stand loss have we uh, incurred from this storm, from either brittle snap or maybe lodging or something of that nature. And so in this field, there are some plants that are snapped. Uh, this, this particular field is in a, a little more susceptible stage for brittle snap during the grand growth phase. And so we did have a few plants that snapped, but really we only had about two or 3%. So that's relatively low considering that we had 70 mile an hour winds. Um, if we had a field that maybe was taller, uh, we might have had a little bit more. So we try to assess how much brittle snap we had during that event. If we had a significant amount more, then we would have to take and see how many plants that we had left and try to determine where we would be from a yield standpoint after that. The next thing that I try to do is try to assess the health of that stand that is still left. So sometimes the hail, you know, it'll, it'll come straight down. Sometimes it'll come in at a little bit of an angle and we could have a little more stalk bruising than what we would typically have with just a very light hail damage event. So I take a look and see how far that the hail has penetrated the leaf sheath and that'll give me an idea about, you know, just how deep that that hail penetrated. So I try to take a look and just see, you know, how hard did the hail hit the corn stalk? Usually if it hits that stalk somewhere around two inches away from the, the growing point, it can damage that plant to the extent it won't grow back normally. So I try to take a look at the health of that stand that's existing. Next, we also try to look and see how much leaf area loss that we have due to the hail. So this particular field had nearly 100% leaf loss. And the way that we take a look at that is just how much of that horizontal leaf tissue is left. If we really don't have any horizontal leaf tissue left, if it's all hanging down, then we pretty much have 100% loss. But if you kind of do a visual of, of some of the leaves and you can kind of determine that maybe you have half of it or something like that, that'll give you an idea about where to look on some of the hail charts to figure out just how much yield loss is associated with that kind of damage. So this particular field, is close to a V10 to a V11 stage corn. And so most of the hail charts at 100% leaf loss will say that we're somewhere around that 20 to 25% yield loss associated with that kind of leaf area loss. So with that, this particular field, this grower decided to keep, uh, since we are so late in our production year, uh, we are close to the end of June. And so many growers in this area really don't want to replant a field of corn unless they have to. So one of the other things that we also ask growers to consider, if they did happen to uh, buy up the wind and hail insurance, then this would be a good time to call those adjusters because uh, they can come out and help you identify whether or not this field would qualify for a loss or not. Here's a picture of some of the plants that did snap. Uh, we're actually in a little area here where we had a few more plants snap than what the majority of the field has. But again, it, it's not very uh, many plants. And so the yield loss associated with uh, two to three percent of those plants is not really uh, something that would concern us at this point. Oftentimes there's uh, way too much leaf area loss to be able to determine just what stage that this corn is in. So one of the things that we may have to do is we may have to split the stalk in order to determine just what growth stage that we're looking at. So most of the time, whenever I can split a stalk, especially a, a corn stalk of this size, I can take a look at the first node above the first elongated inner node, and that gives me the V5 node at that point. And so from there, I can begin to count up and determine just what stage that it's in. Here we can get a visual of the amount of damage that the stalk actually incurred. Uh, one of the good things uh, that we see is that most of the damage really doesn't go beyond the first leaf sheath. And so the stalk itself seems to be in pretty good shape. You can see the amount of leaf area loss that this field incurred. There's not a lot of horizontal leaf tissue left. 
Um, at most, I'd say there's probably 10 to 15 percent. And we really see some pretty strong recovery already just in three days. We can see that in the world there's already some pretty strong growth, about six inches of growth or so coming out of the world. So that's encouraging to see also. If this corn was larger, it would actually have a considerable amount more yield loss associated with it. We do have some fields in this area that were closer to tassel and some of those growers have a much higher amount of yield loss associated with these fields that are damaged to this extent. So remember, try to assess the health of the plants that you have left in the field, uh, the stand that is left. Also try to figure out or assess how much of that stand that you have left and then also the leaf area loss as well to try to get a combination of factors to provide the grower with the best information that you possibly can. I'm Greg Peffer with Pioneer. If you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or your local sales rep. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.